So we've emptied our bottles, but the sampler still thinks I'm on bottle number two. So we need to do another function for the manual control button, which is servicing the sampler. By pushing and releasing the manual control button, you tell the sampler, it's empty, go back to spot one. And you'll hear your arm move all the way back around to the home position at bottle one. To collect a manual sample, you push and release the manual control button twice. So we're gonna do that right now. So one, two. This time the sampler, sampler will run a much shorter time because we've already set all of the purge times and vacuum times. A good first step, you're at a new site, you've never put a sampler out here, you're not exactly sure what your purge time or vacuum time should be, is to run the auto deploy routine. And we do this by pushing and holding the manual control button. When we run the routine, this will monitor and calculate the, vacuum, the purge time, the vacuum time, and the sample drop time for you. And we'll talk more about those in a minute. But we're going to push and hold the button until the sampler starts to run. sampler is going to purge the line for two minutes. Regardless of how far you are from your water body, this first section is going to purge for two minutes. So after the two minutes, this sampler is going to switch to pump. And so we've seen the water pull in. It's going to purge out to the bottom of your volume control rod. Once it's purged, it's going to drop the sample into the water bottle inside the sampler. Once you hear it click, the distribution arm has moved from bottle position one to bottle position two. 